Hello everybody and welcome back to Live Your Dream TV, the coolest place on the web for entrepreneurs to be inspired, educated, and entertained. It's Mick and Tara Carbo here again, we're your host for the, for the program, and Tara, I just wanted to say to, these, uh, to the viewers here that we just had an awesome, awesome first week of the yes. show. Um, we're so excited about that. We've had like 275 views on YouTube and uh, several other views on uh, a couple of other um, uh, popular uh, video sites that we're distributing the video to. Um, we have not uh, had a chance to check the counter on how many visits we've had to the site, but we are just excited about everything that's happened this yeah. past week. Uh, we decided we were going to go for it and pull the trigger, and it's uh, going just as as planned and um, we've had some really really great feedback some really good constructive criticism for people uh, number one if you notice behind <laughs> us we we lost the backdrop we got rid of the backdrop the polls said you guys don't like wrinkly backdrops yeah survey says wrinkly backdrop I don't is like bad. ironing <laughs> so so anyway we um, we get to see more of our office yeah we, we figured we'd do a couple of different angles in here and show you guys uh, the rest of the office that makes this all possible <laughs> over uh, over the next several months. Um, so uh, yeah, I guess we just wanted to um, start the start this show by giving you some really awesome results. Yeah. Um, we've heard a lot from people about the length of the videos. That um, 15 minutes is getting a little bit on the long side. So we're going to try and weed them down to uh, between five and ten minutes. Hopefully five minutes. Um, if that's uh, if that's uh, whatever whatever seems okay with everybody, okay. and um, so okay, Ken Rashan, great time with him. We yeah, had a great time with good. Patsy Anderson. Yeah. Had a great time with Abina, Abina Banda mm -hmm. from the uh, from the Aloft Hotel, and uh, we're having fun together. And we're gonna we have several interviews lined up for uh, for for this week and the coming weeks. And you guys will be really excited and happy about everything. How did you think the first week went, Tara? Oh, it was really exciting. Um, I liked meeting with the different people in the different places. That was fun. And just kind of jumping in and uh, kind of, you know, figuring it all out was really exciting and really fun. Um, I think the people that were being interviewed felt comfortable and excited to share, you know, a little bit about them and a little bit about what they do. So I'm pleased with the first week. And we really seem to be getting the word out and um, having people kind of spread it around on different social networks and um, things like that. So I'm pleased. I think it went yeah. really well. So happy first week. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> we have we started the fan book. Uh, the, I'm sorry. Fan the page. Fan page on Facebook. That's a little <laughs> bit of a tongue twister there. Yeah, so and go we, there and like it. Please. please. Please go. You can like it from the Live Your Drink, right from the, uh, uh, there's a follow tab right on the, mm -hmm. well, if you're looking at the computer screen, it's on the right hand side of the computer screen. You can follow Live Your Dream TV on Facebook, that's the fan page, and on Twitter. Uh, we want to encourage you guys yeah. to do that. Um, suggest this to your friends. Really help us get some traffic to this site, because be this great. is going to be a really, really cool journey. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, 28 people on the fan page, so not astronomical, but nice and steady. I think that's pretty good for one week. And I find that since the video is available from so many different places, you've got like little chunks all over, so people are commenting at a variety of um, different places, so I feel like there's a little bit of a spread, but, um, you know, really good activity. Absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. And this month happened to be... The Dream Month, yeah. is that what it is, yeah. at, the, at the OPN? Yeah, I belong to a women's networking group called OPN. Many of you, I'm sure, have heard of it on purpose with Ginny Robertson, who is awesome. And um, all the month of January, I think she does this every year, they, um, instead of kind of telling about yourself and your business, you get like a minute to talk about what your dream is. And then she compiles it and puts it on her website and so forth. So it's really great to kind of help each other with their main goals that we might not hear about all the time. And so it was absolutely perfect for us because it was the launch month for our site. And so, um, <laughs> you know, the room kind of goes still when, when it's time to like do your 30 second and everything. So she's like, okay, who's the brave soul that wants to go first? And I shot up. I was like, maybe me. I wanted to go first so bad. So I was really happy to share and, um, share during the dream, the dream session that we had launched Live Your Dream TV. So it was very exciting. Got a lot of, um, good supporters from the OPM meeting. But what I thought was interesting as the people went around the room and shared 
what their dream was, was that there's a pretty big, there, first is that there's a little catch on how people think about the word goal versus the word dream, and sometimes people get caught up in that, and um, so, you know, it could be about, you know, what they want for their business this year, or what they wanted from their life, or, you know, maybe it was a personal goal or whatever, but it was just interesting the way that different people interpret that, and I guess how it feels in your mind when you're reaching for the next level of success in your life. So, I don't know, I just thought about that, and I don't know what you think about it, Mick, but I just thought it was interesting you know, different people's focus, and then even your own focus during, throughout the years. So you're, you know, really changing what you want um, as time goes on. And I know that's circumstantial and everything, but it's just interesting to observe the wide scale of differences between the 30 people that were in the room that day. Yeah, very yeah. cool. Very yeah. cool. And did you get a chance to talk about your dream? No, there, actually, or? I did get a little choked up in the meeting, which is not like me to get like that in public. But it was funny because she read two excerpts out of this book that was a really cool book. I wish I could plug it right now, but I don't know the name of it. But it was maybe we'll stick it up on the site somewhere. And um, they were kind of like to get you in the mood to get going. So those were a little, little uh, I guess, heart-wrenching. But then she had mentioned um, something about... Oh, she had mentioned that... Um, she read this thing about a fish bowl and that the fish in a bowl are so used to the space that they have that when you maybe put them, like this example was the person put them in a bathtub of water while he cleaned the cage out and they only swam in the amount of um, space that they were used to having. So they never reached out to explore. And so I guess the moral of the story is, you know, are you living your life in the safe zone and not reaching out to realize that you have a whole ocean to swim in, but you just want to stay where it feels safe in your little fishbowl. And so um, she told, after that she had me mention that like when elephants are caged in zoos and circuses for so long, that when you let them free, they tend to not want to go anywhere because they're, they're, they're used to being tied up and they can't reach out. So, so that's where the tears came That's from, where I got a obviously. little choked okay. up because... Well, you guys will hear more about Tara's <laughs> elephant okay. dreams in upcoming, upcoming episodes, yeah. but thank you for... Now I know why You're you welcome. got choked up. As a matter of fact, I need to wipe away a tear right now. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining us on our second segment of the show. Beginning of week number two. Yep. Sorry, video's posting a little bit late yeah. today, but we had a busy day today. <laughs> I'm going to come up with a quick uh, question of the day here on the fly. We're getting ready to get hit with a storm, and if there was no healthy food in the grocery store left, and you only had a choice between saltine crackers and Fruity Pebbles cereal, mm -hmm. what would you buy to feed yourself and your family? Mm -hmm. Answer it right down here in the comments box. Guys, we really appreciate you spending your time with us. Our passion is your passion, and it's our hope that as a community we can go out there and help, help some people reach their dreams. All right, thanks, guys.